Hello, Sam Owens here, and we're gonna do a review of a remote switch, and it's a relay in it. Uh, it's right here in this box. Uh, it's a, I can't pronounce the name. It's DSTFUY wireless remote, and you can get an AC or a DC. I'm going to review the DC right now. I do have the AC and have already installed it for an application I wanted. Um, this little device uh, will go over 300 feet away, so uh, you could operate uh, gates, a remote gate. It's got uh, this one has 30 amps. There is an upgrade uh, one for 40 amps, so it will turn uh, big motor zone, anything within that range. Uh, it will do it and do it with uh, oh, a range of over 300 feet. And so uh, it's got a lot of applications that uh, maybe there's one that uh, you might need. So I'm gonna just demonstrate uh, some of the features of uh, this and uh, how to hook it up. There's only four leads here. Just about anyone uh, can hook this up without too much trouble. And uh, it comes with uh, two remote controls and they have a little um, lanyard here with a little clip that you could hang it on your keychain or what have you. Like if you hook up a remote control, uh, something that you want to operate all the time, like uh, maybe a, a special garage door opener or something. So uh, let me show you a few things. Uh, the uh, I'm gonna show right up here. Uh, you'll see the circuit, the wiring diagram of this uh, device. Now, as you see. Uh, and uh, I have the information written below about uh, the fact that the positive lead is the only one that's actually switched. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. And there's applications where uh, with this, you may only have to run one wire. Uh, I'm gonna put this meter in ohms, which will show continuity and Right here, you'll see the input is plus. Actually, right here, it's plus and minus. Right there is the input. This is the output. So this is the plus, minus, and this is plus and minus. So I'm going to measure uh, on the output right here. Uh, from there, that minus to this minus, and you're going to see there's continuity. And there's no continuity between this plus and that plus. This is the input, this is the output. So, watch my meter, and let me just put it where you can see it. Right here, hopefully. Okay, I'm going to test it. Whoop. Okay, that's a dead short right there. So I'm going to go across the positive and on the input and the positive on the output and there's no reading. Now if this were hooked up and the remote control was activated, then you would see it go short. So that is the switched lead. Now here is the negative or ground side and when I touch that, notice it's, it's shorted all the time, right there. And so it does not switch. What this means is if, like in your car, you have uh, a, like uh, the starter, it's, it's grounded on one side that all you have to do is put a positive lead. So that would mean that all you'd have to do if you were gonna run a remote switch to the starter, you would go from the positive, you'd go to your battery source and your ground source here of the car, neg ne uh, negative and positive. Then you would just take the positive lead and go to the positive lead of the starter, and there's already a ground there, 
So you're using the ground of the vehicle, your car, as a conductor, so you don't have to really run that uh, lead. That's what they're showing in the dark lead. See, it's a real dark, the positive, and on the other side is uh, the dark lead being positive, and the negative is a light, and you just saw what I was talking about. Okay, so I'm going to do a demonstration of a typical hookup that uh, would be something that you could see a true application of it. Let's say that I want to mount my inverter. What this does is takes my 12 volts of the car and makes AC, and I have two AC outlets here with an on and off switch. And maybe I want to mount this in the trunk or some place that I can't really control it all the time. So, I'm going to show an application of hooking this up where I can turn it on with a remote control right here and it's in the trunk. Just a, an application out of my head that I can demonstrate. This might be a motor of a uh, pump motor uh, out in your backyard and you could wire it up just similar to this. Now, uh, this is not going to be hooked to a ground or anything, so I'm going to need to wire both leads to these leads, negative and positive. And I'm going to have to have a power source, DC, uh, negative and positive. Now, I'm going to take the positive lead and I'm going to put it on the positive terminal right there. So this is going to go right in here. Now this doesn't really fit so I'm just going to stick it in just a little bit and kind of let's see I'm just going to make a, a little temporary deal. For this demonstration I would actually have the correct spade tip but I don't right now. So I'm going to stick this down inside of here like that. And I'm just going to clamp it down a little bit. Okay. There's my positive and then my negative is going to be the same way. I'm going to have to bend this up just a little bit here and screw it down. This will do for the demonstration. Now I have positive and negative, red and black. I'm going to connect the output of this remote switch to here. Now I'm going to use the negative I mean the positive right here. Positive is red. Okay. And now I'll use the yellow as my negative. So I'll just stick that down in there. Okay. Now this is input, this is 12 volts into this uh, inverter. And now no power is going to here, I'm going to hook this to the ground that this is going to be to positive. So I'm going to hook the positive up first. And there's the output, positive, right there. So I'm going to stick this in there. And I'm going to take negative, which is yellow in this case, because it goes to the negative there. You want to observe polarity on this. And this is DC, so you're not going to get shocked. If you're working on the AC unit like this, you got a lot of precautions you got to do uh, because you're, you're messing with uh, AC, which is dangerous, 120 volts. We're going to do a demonstration of how this uh, remote switch could work for you. 
as a, an application uh, where you want to turn the inverter on that may be in the trunk of your car and put out AC voltage to power something uh, that needs it uh, in the car. So uh, this could be a pump out in your backyard, it could be a gate, it could be anything just showing the operation of it and the hookup of it. You want to observe power going to this device. Now one thing I noticed and this kind of prevented me from using my um, uh, my jump starter as I was going to in the beginning uh, it put reverse voltage onto the back right here. Notice I have it backwards. Red should be over there but whenever you're looking at a, something like this this was intentionally that way for a purpose. But in my application, I need the positive to go to the positive there. And the only way I can do it is see it changes color to yellow. And uh, this will show you what you have to do if you use something like this as a disconnect. Okay, I've got this on. And now I'm going to use a light so you can actually see the results. So we're going to put this into one of the outlets. This could be whatever, a CD player, a TV, or whatever that you want to remotely uh, turn on. Now I'm, I've got my car behind here with a uh, power port uh, that I'm going to plug it in now and get power to it. So I plug it in now, and I've got, got power going here on these two leads. I have no power going out. I've got this on, and the light is on. <clears throat> so whatever device you have plugged in there would have to be on also. <clears throat> okay, now when I hit the on, the relay is going to operate and send the voltage, the 12 volts, to the back here, which is going to power up the inverter and power up these outlets with 110 volts, and the light should come on. And I should see a power light come on. Let's try her out. On, and I do get a green light when it, a red rather, and there. And you can hear the, the inverter fan. So... There you go. Now I'm going to turn it off. Now I could go 300 feet away. It's raining outside, but it would work. Just for your point of view, I'm going to go out to the street and let you see. You kind of watch that light. Alright, that was about 50 feet away, so you see it does work good. So, a lot of applications, and I hope this will help you. It's very simple to wire up. Make sure you get your polarity correct going in and going out. And uh, you have to condition the things to operate the way you want them to operate. Okay, uh, I want to thank you for watching.